Everyone, welcome to the show. So Florida state lawmakers and Ron DeSantis totally threw homeowners under a corporate bus. As I shared with you guys recently, the state of Florida is losing insurance companies left and right. They're fleeing the state because, as you can imagine, they're receiving a lot of expensive claims due to climate-related weather events. But second is the issue that Florida residents, for some reason, file more lawsuits against their insurance companies than residents in any other state. This is at least as a percentage of the claims filed. So, for example, according to the Tampa Bay Times, of all Florida homeowners who filed insurance claims in 2019, 76% of them ended up suing their insurance companies for one reason or another. So the lack of insurance carriers in the state has now become a crisis for homeowners for obvious reasons. And the Florida state legislature just passed a bill to try to help. Unfortunately, who they're trying to help, it most at least, is the insurance companies. This is after weeks of behind closed door, behind the scenes meetings between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Republican lawmakers. Instead of making changes that might help the homeowners with these astronomical costs to try to purchase insurance through one of the few remaining carriers in the state, they wrote a piece of legislation that gives $1 billion to insurance companies. This is 100% a taxpayer-funded giveaway to the insurance industry. And it's to cover the cost of something known as reinsurance. So this is meant to cover the cost of the insurance policies that the insurance companies take out themselves to help them pay the homeowners when there's a storm that hits. And the Republican lawmakers added in laws that will severely deter homeowners, prevent homeowners from suing their carriers even when they need to. So for example, if a homeowner does take the, their insurance company to court and they win the lawsuit, like let's say the insurance company is refusing to pay them. They know they have a legitimate claim. They know that they're owed money. They take their insurance company to court. The insurance company is found liable. They say, yes, you owe this person. You have to pay on this claim. Normally, or at least as of as of the way it was, the homeowners could recoup their legal fees. That's no longer. They will no longer, the insurance companies will no longer be required to pay the attorney's fees of the homeowners, except in very limited circumstances. This bill also allows the insurers to offer cheaper policies, but it requires that both parties have to take part in arbitration. So the homeowner can't sue anymore in these situations. If they choose this more affordable policy, they have to agree to binding arbitration. No, no judge, no jury, whatever. One thing that this new legislation doesn't do, one thing it doesn't include, is any kind of guarantee that the insurance companies are going to reduce their rates as a result. So they did all this, they're handing them a billion dollars and they got nothing in writing, no guarantee to say, yes, we're going to pass on these savings to homeowners. And the bill passed on almost a 100% party line vote. All Republicans voted in favor of it. So the Democrats, you know, before it passed, they were trying to offer amendments. They were trying to help the homeowners in some way. All of their amendments were rejected by the Republican majority. So, for example, there's a Democrat named Anna Escamani, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She proposed that they write into this bill a, a prohibition, that they prohibit bonuses or awards given to insurance executives if their company increases rates. Republicans shot that down. And the Republican House Speaker said that their main priority was preventing insurance companies from going out of business. He also told the Tampa Bay Times that, oh, you know, in time, the rates might come down. This is crony capitalism. Absolutely. Whatever happened to Republicans believing in a free market 
allowing companies to sink or swim. So, you know, taxpayer giveaways to corporations is okay, but we can't possibly use everyone's collective tax dollars to help average Americans because that's socialism. Really? What is it when you're giving it away to, to corporations? Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And this is the party that won in a landslide in the midterm elections. And as I mentioned in a previous segment about this, the state, because they were losing so many insurance companies, the state had to step in and they had to create a state-run homeowner's insurance policy. And it was like 30%, if I'm remembering correctly, it was like 30% cheaper than the average cost for these insurance companies that are still working in the state. So a lot of people were having to take those policies. They had no choice because they were saying that their policies through just regular insurance companies, they were higher than their mortgage payment. So a lot of people opted into the state policy, this state-run program. They're saying now with these new changes that the Republicans just implemented, those costs are going to go up. The people who are now on this state-run insurance program are going to end up paying more in, in many cases. So this was such a corporate giveaway. It's pathetic. But yeah, keep, keep voting Republican. Vote for DeSantis. Make him the president of the United States. I'm sure it'll work out great for all of us. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. If I hear any more, I'll let you know. Please like, share, subscribe. Please donate or become a monthly donor. It greatly helps to keep the show going. Really appreciate all of you. Love you guys. Talk with you soon.